Giovanni Flores is an Italian talk show host. Normally, he would be preparing his next television show, but today he's hosting a debate on a new book he just wrote. The reason? His political show has been banned from Italy's public airwaves until regional elections on the 28th and 29th of March are over. Flores' show, called Bellaro, runs on one of Italy's three state-owned channels. The ban, under an election ruling, called for equal airtime among all political parties if not the show faced fines. But the show's format made that impossible. And even if Silvio Berlusconi is no fan of his show, Flores warns the Prime Minister wasn't the instigator. I'm convinced that this thing didn't happen because of the will of one person. The ruling that started everything was proposed by a member of parliament from the opposition. In my opinion, this MP did this because he hoped it would get more television time for his small party. Berlusconi's majority jumped on the bandwagon because they hoped to take a law they had never liked and, paradoxically, apply it to the letter. This ruling applies to Rai's four main political talk shows. Rai has a parliamentary committee made up of the main political parties. Berlusconi's party has the majority. The Prime Minister has made no secret that he sees most of these talk shows as a direct attack against him and his government. The one he dislikes the most and wants even permanently off the air, Anno Zero, which last October had broadcast an interview with a call girl alleged to have slept with Berlusconi. Giorgio Lanati is a member of parliament from Berlusconi's People of Freedoms or PDL party. He voted for the ruling to give political parties equal airtime. He says it wasn't a ban. Rai Television's Parliamentary Commission didn't suspend anything. The decision was taken by public television's governors, since they found it impossible for the talk shows to include all the 51 candidates for the regional presidencies and to give each of them the same opportunity, the same time to talk. Rai governance preferred to replace these programs with some sort of political podium, which will be in the last two weeks of the electoral campaign. Emma Benino is one of these 51 candidates. This former European commissioner is running for governor in the Rome region of Lazio. It's her small radical party which signaled that Berlusconi's electoral list had failed to meet the deadline. The political fight between them now is personal. And despite this video campaign, she admits that with Berlusconi's media empire and political influence on Rai, small parties just can't compete with Berlusconi on Italy's airwaves. Berlusconi or others who can get on the news bulletins are the only ones who can run an electoral campaign. The others are resigned to useless debates at midnight or at nine o'clock in the morning. These elections are not democratic. <coughs> Renata Polverini is running against Benino. She now represents Berlusconi's party through a political merge. She plays down the ban on political talk shows. Her goal is to meet as many of Rome's potential four million voters. All means of media are important, especially in this era, but obviously so is human contact, meeting people, shaking hands. All of this is important. These elections are seen as a key test for Berlusconi, whose popularity rating has gone from over 60 to below 50 percent, following a series of alleged sex scandals, corruption charges and trials. Scandals which make Italy's headlines, but they don't call him the Teflon premier for nothing. Berlusconi has accused Rai's main talk show host and journalist of being part of a left-wing conspiracy aimed at bringing him down.
talk show host who, according to this media professor, plays a strong role in shaping politics. In Italy, these leaders of opinion are essentially of the party, let's say, opposed to the governing one. The intention to reduce this form of political communication is relatively understandable in order to prevent politics being sketched out by a few individuals whose opinions are adverse to the government. It's estimated that between his own media set television stations and the political influence on Rai, Berlusconi controls close to 90 percent of Italy's free access channels. This is media set's political talk show called Matrix because it's a private channel, the show is not suspended. This show was aired during the 2008 legislative elections, which Berlusconi won easily. He kept on talking even after the host, Enrico Mantana, said it was over. Mantana no longer hosts Matrix. He resigned over a year ago, but not because of Berlusconi. For him, the problem with Italian media isn't a lack of democracy, but too much of it. In a program broadcasted by the state TV, an Italian viewer can see a journalist saying that Berlusconi, who's the head of the government, should be imprisoned. It's not so easy to have all this in all democratic countries. Obviously, it will be much easier to find someone who says that the head of the government deserves the Nobel Peace Prize. But I repeat, you really can say everything. And in Italian Italian newspaper stands, you find everything. There's a problem of measure, suspicion and aggressiveness. In its 2009 survey, media research group Freedom House downgraded Italy to the partly free category and placed it 73rd out of 195 countries. For this political editor, the relationship between politics and the media has a long history, but right now politics has been dealt the better hand. Certainly the need for the political world to increase its control on information has increased. But it's not only Berlusconi who wants to control information. When we have center-left governments, it's not a period where all controls on information are lifted, either in the press or public television. The problem is that politics decides what is information. Rai's political talk shows will go back on air after the elections. But with so many candidates and issues at stake, the concern is that the information voters need to make a choice won't be available. The very role Italy's public television claim is their job, to inform.